am banned on YouTube as I'm filming this. You guys won't even be able to tell, but Wednesday when I tried to upload my video, it got taken down in a matter of minutes. One day I'll explain what was in that video, but for right now, I cannot get another channel strike because that, it like, it's just a total risk to my YouTube getting deleted. So, this video is gonna be a fun one, but last week I apologized for no upload. I can't post till Thursday when this video is gonna be uploaded. I hope that made some sense because that was like the seventh or eighth time of me trying to record that intro, and now I've given up. Alright, it is the next day. Yesterday was Saturday, it's now Sunday. We had a great time going around Sonoma Park yesterday, but today we're going to a supercar show in Montgomery County, Maryland, about an hour drive away. I'm eating breakfast right now, then I'm about to head out. So one of my good friends, Tim, who you guys know, who had the C8 Corvette R, he recently sold that and got an Aston Martin Vantage. Sold the C8, had to trade up, went for the Aston Martin Vantage. Okay, we're about to move the Aston Martin. I've never opened these doors before. You just push these in and you pull it out. And it opens at a really cool angle. Wait, are you 16 now? Yep. 16 year old driving Aston Martin Vantage. No pressure. Yo, I'd call that successful parking. Not too bad. I know I've said this dozens of times, but this may be the best DMV supercar show I have ever been to. That is the ultimate luxury SUV, the Rolls Royce Cullinan. We're at an undisclosed location somewhere in the vicinity of Severna Park, Arnold, Annapolis, in the woods, and this is the run up to the new mountain bike jump. Look how steep it is while he's running down it. You gotta like run down it, oh my god. This is the view from the bottom. Up there is where you come down and go and hit the jump. We're building right now. All right, the lip is done. It took about two days to build. I was only here for the last part of them building it, but we're about to have someone go down and see how nice it looks. This is the craziest mountain bike jump I've ever seen in person, and we built it. This is crazy. All right, that was the craziest jump we've seen by far all day. I'm gonna go to the top and show you what they see when they go down using the steps that everyone built. So good job to all that participated in building the steps. Dude, that is a scary drop. I can't even imagine doing it. Damn, bro, I thought I was gonna get hit for a second. I just measured myself, I'm six foot two. I measured myself at the top to where we landed and it's over 21 feet. 21 foot jump in the middle of the forest. All right, everybody, it is the next day. It is pouring rain outside, so it's a perfect day to go shopping. That's exactly what we're doing. 
Just went to the jewelry store, looked at a bunch of Rolexes. They were really sweet, I really liked them. Took a couple pictures, they were older ones, but they were still super sweet. There's a truck next to me, and it, it's gigantic, so I took a bunch of pictures of those. I'll put them right here and there, because I'm not going back out in the rain with my camera. But anyways, I don't know what's happening the rest of the weekend, because today it's raining, but tomorrow, hopefully it'll be a better day. What's up everybody? I told you it was gonna be a beautiful day out. It is Mother's Day. It's a good 75 degrees out here. It's Fort Park, Maryland. Very sunny. I'm headed over to the giant jump in the woods right now. They've made some adjustments to it. I've seen it on video. I have not seen it yet in person, so it should be very cool. All right, I've made it back to the jump spot. It looks more intimidating than last time you were here. Oh my gosh, you're right. So now you have to go above those sticks up there for the landing. 